Hello and welcome back to the Gran Turismo 7 License Guides. Today we're focusing on the International B Licenses. If you do find any of these guides helpful, don't forget to give the video a like and also subscribe. For License 1, we're braking at the 150 metre board. We're aiming to get the car slowed down enough and then start to turn in. Otherwise, if you turn and brake at the same time, you'll start to lose the back end, a bit like I did there. For license challenge number two. For this right hander, we're going to be flat out for the beginning of it and then we're going to let off if you feel like the car is not getting enough rotation as you're going round and we're braking just before the 200 meter board we're looking for about 50 percent brake and we also want to be really mindful to brake in a straight line for the final right hander we're going to be turning in at the 100 meter board and then feathering the throttle as we go around For license challenge number three, we're sticking to the left-hand side and then we're using this water tanker on the left-hand side as our braking point. We're aiming to stick towards the outer edge of the track. This will allow us to carry more speed. When we turn in, we're sticking as close to the right-hand side wall as we can. And then we're looking for a slow-in, fast-out corner for this final left-hander. For license challenge number four, this one is a relatively simple one as there's very limited braking involved. We're aiming to use as much of the curbs as we can whilst feathering the throttle as we're going round. For this long right hander, I chose to just coast my way around it and then as we made our way towards the exit of the corner, that's when I applied the throttle. For license challenge number five, we're braking as we hit the 500 meter board. When we get to the chicane, we're going to be using a lot of the curbs. And for the sweeping right hander, we're aiming to stick as close to the inside of the track as possible, weathering the throttle as we're going round. And once we go past the steward's tower, that's when we fully accelerate. Coming up to this hairpin, we're braking just as we go past this cherry picker on the right hand side. Stick close to the inside and then on the exit we're going to be using the kerb on the right hand side. And our final braking point is at the 200 meter board. For license challenge number six, we need to be hitting a lot of the apexes here to allow us to maintain that minimum speed. As we're going around this right hander, you might need to let off slightly, otherwise you'll end up going off track and hitting the wall. Our breaking point is just as we go past the steward's tower on the left hand side. We're aiming to hit the inside apex and then move over to the outside. When the red and white curbing ends, that's where we're going to let off. And then again, aiming for the inside apex. Our final braking point is just as this blue bullet sign on the left hand side is about to go off our screen.
24, license challenge number 7. It's quite difficult to see, but we're breaking at the 200 meter board. I chose to stay in third as we're going around this sector of the track, as I felt it allowed me to carry a lot more minimum speed. Next breaking point is quite again quite difficult to spot the 100 meter board. Sticking as close to the inside as we can. Breaking just before we hit this left hander. Be mindful not to carry too much speed into this final corner, otherwise you'll end up doing what my ghost did, hitting the curb and then end up losing time. For license challenge number eight, you need to be mindful off the start not to fully accelerate, otherwise you'll end up losing control of the car because you're on slick tyres in damp and wet conditions. Our braking point is at the 100 meter board. When we're braking, be mindful not to apply 100% pressure on the brakes, otherwise again, you'll lose control of your car. For the second left-hander, we're just letting off here with no need to brake, let the car turn in and rotate, and then we start to accelerate. Be mindful not to apply 100% throttle straight away, otherwise again, you'll lose control of the car. For license challenge number nine, we're breaking just as the orange fence starts on the left hand side. As we go around, we're aiming to get our car pointing straight and as close to the right hand side as we can. This will give us the best exit. For this sweeping left hander, we're aiming to approach it from the middle of the track. As it sweeps round, it's, you don't want to be too narrow, otherwise you'll end up hitting the wall. I did actually beat this goal time by two thousandths of a second, but I knew that I could improve. And finally for license 10. As we're going down the hill we're aiming to cut the inside curb here as much as we can, breaking at the 150 meter board on the right hand side. For this right hander we're aiming to cut as much of the inside curb as we can. As we're heading up the hill we're going to tap on the brakes slightly and then we're aiming to get as close to the inside curbing as we can. And then, as the curbing ends on the left-hand side, that's when we're going to start braking. And finally, you can use the steward's box on the left-hand side, or the end of the fencing on the right-hand side as your braking point. Doesn't matter which. For earning bronze in all the International B Master Licence Challenges, you will earn yourself a 5 star roulette ticket. And for earning gold in all the challenges, you will earn yourself a Lexus LFA. Thank you so much for watching this video on the International B Licences. Join me in the next video for the International A Licences. On the left will be a link to the Gran Turismo 7 license playlist and on the right hand side will be a link to a random Gran Turismo 7 video.